We may know that everything in the universe is made out of tiny things called atoms. They make up the trees, the birds, and everything you see around you. You may even know that atoms are made of even smaller things, the neutron, the proton, and the electron. If you go even further, you'll find that these particles are made up of even smaller particles, quarks. We know that quarks exist, but where do they get their mass from? A particle gets its mass from its interaction with the Higgs field. What's the Higgs field, you ask? Let me explain. Suppose you're at a bar with a bunch of people. Think of the crowd as the Higgs field. Now imagine a famous celebrity is looking for a glass of wine at the back of the bar. When they walk in, everyone will most likely swarm around them because they want to get a picture or simply talk to them. Thus, it will take them more time to get their glass of wine. Now imagine a random kid walks into the bar looking for a glass of lemonade at the back of the bar. No one's going to necessarily swarm him. Thus, it'll take him less time to get his lemonade. Think of the random kid and the celebrities' particles interacting with the Higgs field, or in this case, the crowd at the bar. The celebrity moved through the cloud slower, thus interacting with the field and gaining more mass than the random kid who barely interacted with it. Now, you might be wondering what the Higgs boson is. Well, the Higgs boson is like a rumor that passes through the bar crowd first. The front of the crowd hears it and clumps around it. Then the next part of the crowd hears it and clumps around it, and so on. When a lot of energy is moving through the Higgs field, the result is a bunch of fleeting Higgs bosons. A Higgs boson is simply an excitation of the Higgs field. Now, why exactly does that matter? In 2012, when scientists discovered the existence of the Higgs boson, they were able to confirm theories of this supposed Higgs field. Now, you're probably thinking, well, everything gets its mass from the Higgs field, right? I get my mass from the Higgs field. This plant gets its mass from the Higgs field. Actually, not quite. Well, see, the Higgs field only gives fundamental particles their mass. Fundamental particles are particles that can't be further subdivided into smaller particles, such as the electron or the quarks, which we mentioned earlier. Take the proton, for example. The proton is composed of quarks, and these quarks get their mass from the Higgs field, of course. But they only account for 1% of the mass of this proton. The rest of the 99% comes from what binds these quarks together, the gluon field. The gluon field in non-fundamental particles such as neutrons and protons that compose an atom are constantly fluctuating. According to Einstein's E equals mc squared, a lot of mass can be derived from a lot of energy. So you owe most of your mass to energy fluctuations in the gluon field. We have the Higgs field to think. Without it, fundamental particles wouldn't get their mass. My name is Kia and thank you for watching this video.